Hey guys, Julian here from SynthwavePro.com. Let's get right into this. I have a little excerpt here and I wanna make the ARPs stand out a bit, make them sound a little more interesting. So let me play the excerpt and then we can deep dive into some of the elements I'm gonna use and also how to leverage some of the, uh, I guess some of the data we are going to extract from this ARP. So let's get started here. Very simple, very basic ARP setup here, nothing too complicated. I'll play with the bass context. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can make the ARP sound a little more magical. So first thing I wanna do here is bring in an arpeggiator. I'm gonna use the stock plugin here from Ableton. I'm gonna alter some of these controls here and we can see what's gonna to do to the sound. So first things first, let's go ahead and set the rate to 16th notes. Another thing I like to do is to modify the gate, in other words, the length of the notes and shorten them up, sort of tighten it up. Anywhere between 10 and 12%. And then finally, we're gonna adjust these steps here to one. So now we get some octaves, it sounds way better. But wait, there's more. If ever you're stuck trying to figure out what the ARPs are playing, well, one thing we can do is sort of figure out what is being played by introducing another MIDI clip, setting the input to be the ARPs, arming the track here, and let's see what comes out. All right, so what's going on with this second ARP here? In this channel, what I have is pretty much what the arpeggiator is spitting out. And now we get to see the exact notes as well as the duration of the note. So you can see that we have some octaves here. And this is what this guy has been spitting out. And the reason you may want to consider doing this is just a way to start figuring how to create solid arpeggiators on your own. So you can apply this technique and really get under the hood and figure out what some of your favorite arpeggiators are spitting out. And this is pretty much what this little guy here is spitting out. All right, so every single parameter change that we've just done is now reflected in the MIDI clip. And so you can sort of get under the hood and figure out how to create really nice little transition runs or maybe some arpeggiated sequences. The sky's the limit, all right? So that's it for this tutorial, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.